You will agree with me on this one. See, over time, the look of the paint on our walls and ceilings does deteriorate. But because we spend so much of time in our homes, it almost goes unnoticed. Until that one day when you're like, oh, this needs to be repainted. And when that day comes, what better way to do it than to use one product that works on both surfaces. But why walls and ceilings? This is a high quality acrylic paint that will give you a uniform, beautiful matte finish. The colors range from white to slightly off-white, which is brilliant for this room that is in desperate need of a repaint. I started by removing all the old nails and screws in the wall and filled the holes with crack filler and gave them a sanding once it had dried. Always work with the drop sheets on the floor as it makes it easier to clean up but more importantly, it prevents any paint trips landing on the floor. Now, as you can see, this wall is dark blue. Now, if I were to paint this wall with the gentle shade white color, there's a very strong chance that the blue hues would shine through. So I'm gonna do a bit of prep, meaning I'm simply gonna give it a wide coat and then apply two coats of the color. When painting a light color over a dark color, always paint a base coat first. Application is easy. I'll use a roller for the bulk of the wall and hand brush along the sides and edges. Now when it comes to painting walls and ceilings with this height, I prefer using a paint roller's extension pole. It just makes it a lot easier to get to those higher heights. Besides, if you're going to use a roller brush in your hand, paint from the bottom, paint from the top, you're going to get a crease in the middle, which is actually going to be a double coat. So this makes it a lot easier. So while I'm waiting for the base coat to dry on the feature wall before I paint it, I'm also going to be painting this wall as well as the ceiling in the color white. Now because this is white on white, all it really needs is one coat of paint. In this room is going to look new. So I've painted the walls and ceilings in the color white, left it to dry, and I think it looks great. Now this is going to be a feature wall. I'm going to give it a bit of color. So I've left the base coat to dry and cure properly for at least a day. Some now to apply the color, and for that, I've gone with shade white. I'm going to start with the roller, get a nice even coat of color all over the wall, taking care along the edges and towards the corners. I'll then neatly cut the edges with a paintbrush and blend it into the rest of the color. I've given the first coat four hours to dry. I can then paint on the second coat, which will give us a smooth, even matte finish throughout. There we go, the fired earth walls and ceiling. One product applied onto both surfaces to achieve a beautiful matte finish. That feature wall really stands out. And this tire room looks rejuvenated. Now remember, everything I've used today is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.